Hey everybody, it's Wolfspa Audi, and welcome back to more Quarantine, I mean Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we almost finished things off at Noki Bay, and in this episode, we're gonna finish things off at Noki Bay. And actually, I forgot a very important detail, sorry guys, hold on. Okay, sorry about the jump cut there. I needed to get my, uh, glasses, because I actually forgot to put them on, yeah. Yeah, me being very intellectual over here. Anyways, um, we're going to go to Noki Bay, as I said, to finish the last two Shine Sprites over there. And hopefully, uh, I'm going to change things up a bit and not do uh, Blue Coins. I'm going to make a separate episode just for Blue Coins because I feel like it's getting tired just like me finishes a little bit of a level then goes straight to blue coins for the rest of the episode and that's not very fun so i'm just gonna make a separate episode just for blue coins and then just go from there but in this episode we're just gonna go do this stuff uh here comes shadow mario you're gonna want to chase him down now this shadow mario mission can be very annoying because he jumps literally everywhere and this is like i said a very vertical oh shoot crap wow like I said, this is a very vertical stage, which Shadow Mario can jump all kinds of places over here, and then he could just, like, evade you very, very easily. And he's evading me very easily, but that's just because I'm sucking. Not really the same thing as actually evading me. Come on. Yeah, he's very annoying in this stage. Did he jump down all the way down to the beginning? Oh, he's right there. Okay. No, no, crap, not hover nozzle. I did not want hover nozzle, crap. Go, 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 gadget. Okay, come on, come on, come on. No, no, crap. I did stifle it, but I didn't uh, wall jump from it. No, crap, no! Ay. Come on. Come. Freaking... Ah. Are you serious right now? Get up there! Thank you. You can see why I hate this mission so much now. Because you have to constantly switch between nozzles. Oh. Ugh, and he's so fast, you can't even do that in time. Come on. Okay. Then he goes up there, doesn't really matter. Thank you! Oh my god, I hate that Shadow Mario mission. But at least now it's done, gone, and never have to do anything like that ever again. Because the next Shadow Mario mission is not that difficult. But, eh, like I said, this is a close second to my least favorite world. And Mission 8 will tell you exactly why. Four minutes, that took a while. Anyways, look wait, look back up at the sun and the red coin fish. Now, what you want to do for this mission is go back to the area where you fought the the giant eel. No, I don't want to talk to you. I don't care. Oh, oh, I mean, I guess he gave me the helmet, but still, I didn't care regardless. Okay, let's just go up here. Okay, now that we're up here, all you want to do is Geronimo! And you get teleported down here with the red coin fish. Now, this mission is very, very annoying. Because what the red coin fish does, it disassembles like that and all the coins fly everywhere. And it does that repeatedly throughout the mission. You have to get close to the coins, float into them. And grab them that way. It reassembles from time to time. But it disassembles a lot too. Which makes it very annoying to get all red coins. And it always seems to do it when you get near it too. Which is even more irritating. And what's even more irritating than that. Is that if you collect the yellow coins. Uh, you might not be able to see where it reforms again. 
So when you get down to like two red coins, you might not even be able to see where they are because he keeps reforming and disassembling. It's just very annoying to do. It's a pretty tedious mission. But it's not my least favorite eight world episode eight mission in the game. It's not too bad once you get used to it. Uh, see see what I mean? The last one was right there and it chose to disassemble. Okay, come on. Uh, okay, it's reassembling. Okay, yeah. Come on. Okay, there we go. That was a bit more painless than I thought it was going to be. But thank God it's over now. Uh, that run of that mission was not that bad, actually. But trust me, that mission can take you up forth as to like half an hour is the longest I've lasted on that single mission. And it sucks so much. But with all that out of the way, let's just sink slowly, slowly down to the bottom and reclaim our shine sprite. Come on. Come on. Come on. We landed right on it. Good. Woo! Waha! Oh. Like I said, for the blue coins, I'm not going to do a blue coin mission just yet. I'm going to make a separate video for all of them. Same thing with the 100 coins. The 100 coins will be bundled within the uh, blue coins. Just so if you guys want to like not watch the blue coins, you could just do that. And then I could just have other episodes with commentary in them. Because I feel like that's the best option, like, for people that want 100% the game, they can watch those videos, but for people that just want to watch me for my commentary, you can ignore those videos. So, that's what I'm going to do, like I said. Now, I'm going to get a Shine Sprite that I have left uncollected, and I very, I apologize very, very much for it, because it is, like, the most obvious Shine Sprite in the game, and it's... Also, really, really bothering when it's not collected, and you'll see why in just a moment. I bet a lot of you... Oh, well, if I can get up there. Uh, okay, I'll just go from behind, because that's the way you're supposed to do it. Okay, now that we're up here, this Shine Spray, I bet, has bothered at least a few of you for... The entire time that I've started this Let's Play, and you'll be happy to know that I'm finally cleaning it, cleaning it off. There you go, it's done. We don't have to worry about that shine spread anymore. It's all clean. Nobody has to OCD all about it or whatever. It's done, it's there, it's clean. And we get a nice shine sprite for it. I can't believe I skipped out on getting that giant sprite for a while, but there it is, finally. Actually, now that I've gotten that shine sprite, I think I'm going to focus on all the uh, extra levels in Delfino Plaza that we can do right now. Just because I believe this is like the best time we could do it, because the, uh, the next world we're going to be going to is the last official world that we can do. So yeah, I'm going to go do the... All the optional shine sprites within Delfino Plaza because like I said this is a 100% playthrough so we're gonna need to do these eventually and I figure that now is the best time and don't worry for those of you who know this game really well I will be doing and showing the most infamous shine but anyways what you want to do is get the turbo nozzle and break down those doors and secret level but don't worry we actually get our flood but what we want to do is use our turbo nozzle Oh, I didn't center myself properly. That's not good. And just run to the end. You want to jump when Mario hits the orange part of these platforms. Okay, your water will be refilled here. And then jump. And then jump. And... Oh, no! Oh. Okay, there we go. I actually got it this time. I did not fall off like an idiot. All right. 
Ignore that attempt ever happened. Let's just collect this shine sprite. And thank God there's no red coin secret to go along with that secrets mission, which is great. Uh, I'm trying to think of which other ones we can do. Um, ooh, I know one you guys will love to see me suffer on. Uh, so, oh, it's right here too. Okay, so what you want to do is get onto this boat. And side flip up here where you see the coin. And welcome to the Pachinko Machine. Possibly one of the most infamous shine sprites in the game because it controls terribly. The goal for this uh, shine sprite is you have to collect these red coins in these little crevices. But the thing is, the controls are pretty floaty and kind of just really, really awkward. And yeah... Uh, see what I mean? I couldn't even go backwards because the controls were pretty bad. Um, also, if you don't land on any of these little crevices and you go all the way to the bottom, instant death. No questions asked. Uh, oh crap, I think we might experience it. Okay, no good. Uh, by the way, this is where the shine sprite sh uh, appears in. Just so you know. Uh, oh crap, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> okay come on come on not all the way over here god damn it all right oh by the way you cannot jump when you're in that sliding position into the crevice so you can't fix your jumps at all with this this is extremely unforgiving this is not the most difficult shine in the game but it's pretty high up there and can i get that stupid red coin that's a no. Oh, ah. And no, you cannot cheat and go from the outside in. That's not a possibility either. They thought of everything. Okay, let's see if I can actually... Okay, all right, I found, I found out how to get it. Just hold back the entire time. Or not back, but hold to the, to the left the entire time. Uh... Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. No! Ah, God damn it. Those two at the bottom are possibly the most difficult ones to collect, and they're near at the bottom, so... Uh, I, uh, I don't know why he's the wall sliding like that. Come on. Uh, I held back the entire... Fine. Well, we'll get this one for now. Uh... Okay, uh, now let's try and get the one down. And of course, the propeller, pro oh, oh, you can stand on those. Okay, good, good, good. No, no. Oh, I have to do that all again. Um. Uh, what? Am I stuck inside the wall? What? Uh, I can't move. I'm stuck. What the? What? Uh, I can't move. Uh, whoa! Oh, I moved. No! No! Ah! Okay, I went and cut ahead until I got all eight of the red coins, just because you guys already saw all their positions. Now, uh, the bottom ones, I found a strategy for. For the bottom one, all the way on the left, you want to hold left the entire time, but let go of left once you're out of this little box thingy. And for the bottom right one, you want to hold right the entire time and use flood to get yourself down gently and land on those swingy things, like those nail uh, objects just so you can get um, down there easily with flood anyways I really hope I can get the shine sprite before I die because 
Uh, for some reason, the hole doesn't get plugged up after you get the shine spray. You still have to get it, and it's pretty difficult. And I really, really hope I don't die. Oh, gosh. Come on. Okay. Um. Come on. I don't know how exactly to land in the center. Ah! Come on! Because if you don't touch the joystick at all, you just get into the blue thing that I've been getting into and sliding off a hundred times. Um, ho hold left, then... Oh, no! 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 Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on, game! Come on, game! <laughs> Okay, uh, don't get stuck in the wall again. Yes! Ha! Yes! Thank God! Ugh. That shine took forever. Okay, good. And also, I have no idea what was up with the weird wall glitch. I have never seen that, ever. And I've completed this game 100% at least three times, and I've never seen that glitch. Keep in mind, I also watch Let's Plays of this game. And I've never seen that happen. I don't know why. I know this game was glitch infested, like more than other Mario games, just because it was rushed. But I have never seen that happen. I don't. I didn't even know that could happen. But anyways, uh, he wants um, mangoes, so I guess we'll go get get him some mangoes. Um. The next mission we're gonna do is gonna take us a little bit of time. And by a little bit, I mean a whole lot of time. Um, well, okay, here are the mangoes. Uh, the next mission is not really uh, that difficult, per se, but it is a slog to get to, and you'll understand why in about a few minutes. Now, you, you're going to need Yoshi to clear a... A little zigzaggy line that's on top of a pipe to enter the level. That doesn't sound too bad, right? Well, the way you're supposed to get into the island is extremely tedious. I know there's a glitch to get, like, under the water with Yoshi without him dying. And just getting to the island that way. Um, but I want to abuse the least amount of glitches I can in this Let's Play. And show you guys how it's actually done. And what you're supposed to do to get to the islands is you're supposed to stay on these boats, but not on this one. You have to constantly switch boats, about three boats, and the island is all the way over behind uh, Gelato Beach. That's where the island was. I believe I've shown it off a few times. I didn't actually go for it. There's actually two shine sprites you can get on that, but we're only going to be going for one, even though the other one is quite piss easy. But... That's literally all you have. And remember, I, I don't think I've explained this, but Yoshi's juice meter is not actually based on how many juice you spread out. It's actually time-based. Yes, you can only ride Yoshi for a limited amount of time, and there's only a few fruits to replenish that juice bar while you're riding the boat. So if you're not careful, you can potentially lose Yoshi either in the water or by not having, a, not having enough juice. So I bet you get the idea of all of this. This is extremely tedious, and I think I'm just going to cut ahead until I get to the boat. Okay, good. Until I get to the island. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, now that you're at this island, which is all the way over here, so there's no way you can get there besides the boat, and your Yoshi's through with dying three times. You could spray that off the pipe and go in to possibly... You know what? Since Yoshi gave me so much health, die. We don't need you for the rest of this. Go into the pipe, into torture. Welcome to the Poison River. Now, look at my life counter. If I die once, it's game over. And if it's game over, I have to do that crap again. Oh, whoa, I almost actually died there. So this lily pad will start moving as soon as you spray. 
even though it doesn't look like it, it's actually going to move pretty dang fast. And also, you're going to need to use the flood pack to move the... Did I seriously? Oh my god. I already- I'm already dead. I'm already dead! Uh, can I at least get that one- Oh! No! <sighs> I'll see you guys when I get back. Back onto the island with Yoshi I go! And... Yeah. Alright, you know what? You gave me hell again, so die. Anyways, just go back in and continue the mission where we left off, which is the Poison River, yada, 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 but water is instant death for some ungodly reason. Now, this red coin mission is very, very annoying. Because it, even though it doesn't look like it, the water goes, the lily pad goes extremely fast. And like I said, water's instant death. And if that was as if that wasn't enough, uh, the uh, lily pad will actually disappear after a while. And then there's actually this risky red coin that you have to get. <sighs> and then the mission's over. Yeah. Uh, in hindsight, the mission's not that difficult, but getting to it is a freaking slog. And I'm done. I am glad I am finally done doing all of that. Now we can collect our shine in peace. By the way, that pipe next to the shine sprite, you would think it would take you back to the beginning if you miss a red coin. Nope! It takes you back to the start of Delfino Plaza. So if you go in there, you have to do the stupid Yoshi boats again. Now, here's actually a tip that I didn't know about until my second run through of going to the boats with Yoshi because like I said, he died on me five times. Is that instead of taking the boat that's over here that I took at the start, you don't actually have to do that. All you do is uh, go to this sewer line with Yoshi and ground pound that. Because Yoshi can also ground pound. Um, now that we're done with that, uh, I'll do, uh, hmm, I was going to do the last of the few Shine Sprites in Delfino Plaza, but qu quite frankly, there's still a few to go, and there's also one we can't do right now that we're going to have to do later. So I figure we'll just end this off here. Next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we're going to do the rest of the Shine Sprites on Delfino Plaza, and also do some blue coins. But again, that's going to be a separate video, just so it doesn't get collaged into the commentary videos. Anyways, see you guys then!